From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Real Estate Investment Trust Attack has partnered with non-profit organization Sage Foundation to build and renovate classrooms at the Putumani Primary School in Tembisa. Molene Arnoldi attended the launch. The partners are building three new classrooms and refurbishing 10 existing classrooms at the school. Attack through its corporate social investment initiative, Attack Foundation, is focused on empowering young people through education. The Putumani Primary School has since its founding in 1899 been an anchor in the Tembisa community and caters to 1,366 learners through 40 educators. Attack already had an adoption agreement in place with Putumani Primary since August last year, which saw the property developer developing two classrooms and donating 230 pairs of school shoes and 100 pairs of training shoes to learners. This time around, Attack and Sage will launch a measurement and evaluation program to report on the impact of its initiatives after three years. Attack CEO Jackie van Niekerk shares how the partnership with the school and Sage came about and the importance of measuring outcome. The partnership really comes from a long way ago where we as the Attack Foundation decided you know what we really want to support education and training and I think throughout COVID we really started seeing the needs within our own communities. Um, whereby there was desperate need for hand sanitizer at schools and our teams came to me and said you know what there's schools within our community that desperately needs basic goods you know to, to operate the school optimally throughout COVID and, and then we started identifying quite a bit of needs um, within this particular school um, and partnering with our clients being Sage Foundation and also a tenant of ours in Waterfall it made sense for us to, to come together to say you know why don't we adopt a school within the community that we operate in and that supports us. We've also received so much support throughout the riots um, last year, June, from our local communities. And, and we changed our purpose and attack to say, we support our local communities which we operate in. So identifying the needs and then also understanding where we want to focus on from a community development point of view with our clients, it made perfect sense to stand here today. The adoption is a three year, so that's the initial agreements that we have committed to the school. As you can see, we will be building three classrooms and we'll also be renovating 10 classrooms. I think, but also more important is we will also be evaluating the impact um, that we will be having in the community and also in the schools. It's very important for us to measure, not just you know putting a check in and building a classroom, but also to measure the success of the education quality and outcome that we will see coming through. And that's phase one. Um, I've just arrived here today and I said I already want a soccer field. So potentially there'll be more to come, but that's a formal commitment we've made for the first three years. In a separate set of commitments, SAGE plans to support the school through learner and teacher development programs, as well as through the donation of 196 tablet devices, which will be used by grade five learners through to their progression to grade seven. Attack confirms that the classroom builds do not mark the end of the road for the partnership between itself and the school once construction is completed, as Attack remains committed to making a valuable contribution to the empowerment of South Africa's youth and particularly Putumani Primary. Attack social executive Janine Palm tells us more about how the school's values align with those of Attack. Why we chose the school was we were really looking for a school that was aligned to our values and our morals. We met with quite a number of schools, but we really felt that the principals and the teachers were aligned in terms of what our values are and what we wanted to achieve. There was an immediate, immediate synergy and connection, um, and that was the reason why we decided to, to partner with the school in particular. Also, it is a cornerstone within this Tembisa community, and it's a community that we really felt we wanted to support as well. Um, and what we're really trying to achieve is just making sure that all the kids at the school have equal opportunities as other schools we see in nearby communities, making sure that they have the right resources and facilities in order for them to just achieve their best and do the best without the struggles of basic necessities like classrooms. Um, so we really felt that if we just give them that, that group foundation in order to, to um, have those basic necessities, they'll be able to achieve greatness, which we believe that all the children are able to, to achieve. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.